Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. Starting with this report claiming that President John Laporta have outlined two main objectives for Barca in the 2023-24 season. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about this new signing, Mikhail Faye. As the Barca staff rate the teenage defensive prospect quite highly, as they see him as a partner for Ronald Araujo in the future. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Speaking in an interview with CUDN, Barca president Joan Laporta has given an insight into the club's objectives for the upcoming season, as well as the direction that he wants Barca to head in the midst of difficult situations financially. The president was re-elected um, two years ago at a time when Barca were in a state of economic and financial turmoil, and it has not been a bed of roses at all for the Barca president who has made some very tough decisions, none of them bigger than letting Leo Messi leave the club. But things are looking up for the Catalans as they won the La Liga title and also the Spanish Super Cup last season. And even though they are not completely out of trouble yet, the president is very optimistic about the future. Comparing the club's current situation to the one he met back in 2003 when he became president for the very first time, he said, in 2003, you know, when I was there, in a moment of maximum difficulty, we had a very big deficit and a significant debt. Now we have also had it, and perhaps with the passage of time, 20 years on, the magnitude are even much greater, although conceptually, it's still the same. But to the difficulties, we have to add the financial fair play as there are rules interpreted and dictated by La Liga. It generates a certain complexity when managing the club, but we have to adapt and we are doing just that. Talking about the club's sporting situation, President Laporta said, we are at a key moment, which is the turning point, because once the club has been saved, we have a team that is competing again. We have set ourselves the priority objective of La Liga of maximum consistency. We continue to compete, we have won La Liga, we have continued to be dominant in La Liga and take another step towards being one more competitive in champions or in the competition such as the Champions League, which is always very important for us, Laporta said. Highlighting on the key objectives of the season. Of course, next season, we are hoping for a better season than last season. But when we look at the way this transfer window has been, I don't think many or majority of fans will be very optimistic about um, a better season than last season, you know. Because things are just like every time is complaining, money, money, money. We don't get the finances needed to strengthen the team. We don't get the finances. How on earth did Barca even wanted to start bringing Messi and the so-called Mbappé rumors that came out the other day? I mean, there are some things that you still don't understand. Because honestly, the players that we have brought, majority of them are, were, were never the first choice. Barca are just going for them because there's no money and they'll better go for free agents who are in their 30s. Yeah, as funny as, as it may sound, but that's the truth. That's the truth. And it's just sad because Laporta now is seeing a very, very harsh side of reality, being president of Barca, which I think is worse than the last time he came and took over when the club was also going through a major transition. And this one is even better. In fact, this that one was even better than this one because Batemeo, the former president, has already crippled this club to its knees, using money for financial for his personal use, paying crazy salaries, and now the club as the club is suffering big time, and it's really affecting the club in their economic operations, in their transfer operations, sportingly, and every domain is terrible. And Laporta is facing through, is going through hardship, honestly. It's not easy to be in that role as president, especially the way things are going now for the club. It's just incredible. And of course, we know that, yes, the president must always bring that optimistic vibes, those optimistic statements to 
he's a leader, so he needs to make sure things are uh, assured that things will go well next season. We have to compete for a better team, compete next season for all the competitions, especially in Champions League where we were a terrible mess last season. Barca will definitely will be hoping to go as far as, far as the knockout stages, at least semi-finals and stuff like that because honestly, the name Barca is losing reputation very fast. Because we have not been among, we are not even rolling with the big boys again. Champions League, we are no more going far. We are just like a normal average team where they kick us out anytime in the group stages. And we need to compete. Then on to the final story of discussion. Barca finished last season with a La Liga best defensive record by quite some distance. In fact, the defensive numbers placed the Blaugranas amidst the best ever in the history of the league. Araujo, Kunde, Christensen, Alejandro Bade, in that sense, were critical to Barca's league title and Spanish Cup victories, with arguably three of the world's best centre-backs at his disposal, and the newly signed Inigo Martinez to back them up. Xavi Hernandez is spoiled for choice ahead of the next season. According to reports from Mundo Deportivo, the manager's dilemma does not end there. Mikhail Faye whom Xavi has called off a pre-season with the first team, is generating incredible sensations so far. The coaching staff holds him in high regard and sees him as someone who can form a strong partnership with Arrahujo. In fact, the duo have been seen playing together multiple times in pre-season so far. The 19-year-old Senegalese talent joined Barca early this transfer window in a rather sudden run of events, while he was initially seen as an option for Barca Athletic, he appears to have quickly caught Chavez's eye and is now pushing for a starting spot. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.